From WDSU, News Channel 6 is on your side. Imagine being on the operating table and waking up in the middle of surgery. It only happens about 0.1% of the time, but you probably want to do everything you can to eliminate any chance before you go into the OR. WDSU News Channel 6 medical editor Dr. Corey Abair is on call tonight with one man's horrifying story and what you can learn from his experience. It may be rare, but Todd Whitlock lived the nightmare. He says he woke up right in the middle of his hip replacement surgery. There are no words to describe the pain I felt. I said to myself in my head, my God, I'm awake. Then I suddenly realized that I could not open my eyes. I couldn't move any part of my body. They were cutting and peeling back tissue, but I could hear them talking and I could hear that going on. And I could not signal them at all that I was feeling all of that. After he was released from the hospital, Whitlock did some investigating of his own. He learned about a piece of medical equipment he now believes might have alerted the surgical team to what was actually happening. All right, this, I'm placing the uh, BIS uh, monitor on his forehead. Oof. And it, uh, it's four points of contact here. It's called a BIS monitor. We Dr. found Rod this one at Tudor Infirmary. Dr. Rod CCA Williams used me to show how the equipment uh, monitors brain function while a patient is under well. anesthesia. So after the pre-op medications, we take the patient to the operating room and we give them medications that will uh, make them go to sleep. And it's called an induction agent. It induces sleep. And we use the BIS monitor to titrate the amount of drugs that we give to a patient. And this helps us to tailor the amount of drugs that we give to the patient and that will enable us to wake the patient up fast and they'll have a faster recovery. Todd Whitlock says he now has to take medicine to sleep at night, afraid to go to bed because of the flashbacks. He reported the incident when coming out of recovery at the University of Kansas Medical Center. That's a key step experts say you must take if this happens to you. It's such an unnerving event. It may affect your family life, it may affect work. So you really need to, if, it, if you are on that small percentage, need to tell somebody about that because it was really good therapy for that and, and it's very effective. But we have to know. Not all hospitals in the New Orleans area have a BIS monitor, but they all have ways to monitor you during surgery. The best way you can make sure things go well during your operation, do your homework ahead of time. I'm medical editor Dr. Corey Abey on call for WDSU News Channel 6. And Dr. Abey says you can also prepare uh, for your surgery by meeting with your anesthesiologist beforehand, asking any questions you might have, and hopefully getting the answers you need.